welcome back to Crypto NWO, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Crypto NWO, and in today's video, we have another dark web mystery box. This mystery box is pretty heavy, one of the heaviest mystery boxes I've gotten off the dark web, and the last mystery box that I'm gonna do before I get to the 1 million subscriber mark. This is what the sides of the box look like. That's the top of the box. But before we get this video started, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Put on the notification bell to be notified the next time I upload a video and smash that like button. Without any further hesitation, let's go ahead and get this video started. I'm gonna be blurring out my label and whatever the heck that is. I'm gonna go ahead and take my label off the package, remove the label and throw it to the side because we don't need that for the rest of the video. Got my knife here. Let's go ahead and get this video started. Oh, what the hell? So I decided to take all the flaps off the box and throw them to the side too, so they don't get in the way. Hey, hi, sorry for interrupting the video. I already know what's inside the mystery box. I am Mr. Opened the Box already. Now, before you proceed on with the video, if you have a weak stomach or if you're like pretty sensitive, this is your warning right now to leave the video. You have been warned. The first thing we see inside the mystery box, a bunch of plastic lemons with letters on them. Bro, what the hell? Like there's an H there, the universal S there. What the hell? A D. The first thing we're gonna pull out of the mystery box, it's an, it's a toy missing its head. It has boxing gloves on. Interesting, that's cool. Anything that I'm gonna be keeping from this box is gonna be going to my left side. Anything that's gonna be going to the trash is gonna be going to my right. I don't really care for this, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in the trash. I'm gonna get all these little lemons out of the way. They're just blocking. Oh, that smells really bad. So I removed all of the lemons from the box and all the other sides of the lemons are blank. Like just various letters and words on this. If you guys notice anything, let me know in the comment section. This is probably the best overhead shot that I could do. I decided to take them and put them to my right side going in the trash because they don't really mean anything to me. I mean, so far after spending almost close to $1,000, we got a broken toy and a bunch of plastic lemons. Let's go ahead and actually get this box started. Now we can see into the box. We have an old school smoking pipe here with duct tape, pretty old school. The wood looks pretty good though. I'm gonna be taking it and putting it to the side here. I don't really care for that. I mean, there's newer ones. Oh, we have a cassette here. Harky, this is Harky on it. Oh, Hark with an exclamation, exclamation mark. I don't know how to say it, okay? Sometimes they say explanation mark, exclamation mark. Let me know, I don't really know. How the hell do you play these? I'm not gonna ruin it. I'm gonna buy one of those like, um, what are they called, cassette players? I'm gonna buy a cassette player and attach it at the end of this video so you guys can hear it. I'll make sure I do it, don't worry. Unless there's a cassette player in the box, that'll help a lot. This is the first item that I'm gonna be putting to my left here, keeping it. Oh, it says one on it, interesting. What the hell? We have a, a picture frame, what's up with the picture frames? It says Great Depression on it, that's the first thing I noticed. It says Great Depression, it has American money, probably fake. And even if it's real, it's just ones. What's all this? What? Oh. Repay now. What does that say? Citizen repay now. Oh, okay, yo, bro, there's so much happening here. If you guys notice something I haven't noticed, just let me know in the comment section. I'm gonna be opening it up really shortly. First, I just wanna see what this stuff is before I go into this picture frame. Oh, we have double finger rings. Oh, I hate these things. They're basically legal brass knuckles in Canada. I mean, you can't really turn, you can't bring them up here. They're like brass knockers. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I don't know. This is stupid. I mean, this is fun for other things, but I have two two finger rings. I don't really care for these, but if you guys want them, anything you guys want in this video that's not an illicit item, you guys can request it in the comment section. Provide some sort of constructive criticism, provide some sort of feedback. Say what you like or don't like about these videos. I'll repeat this just a couple times throughout the video and I'll be very concise and straightforward. So I'm gonna take this and put this to my left. What is this? What the hell? The next item that I pulled out of the mystery box is this clown. Pin? I'm not a fan of clowns. I actually have a traumatic clown story from when I was a kid. But if you guys want this, just let me know in the comment section. It's not gonna go to the trash. It's gonna go to this side in case anybody wants it. There's two more boxes inside here. So I opened the main mystery box and then there's two more big boxes inside here. This is like a top layer. Okay, I get it now. 
Oh, what the hell? So the next thing I pulled out, it's a clown, bro. What the hell is up with the clown? Oh, so it was the head for this. Oh my God. This reminds me of a clown toy that I got off the dark web mystery box. What the hell? Is it the same guy? No, it's not the same clown. It didn't have boxing gloves before. This is the one that I'm talking about. And this is what this clown looks like over here. Definitely not the same one. Oh, what the hell? If you guys want a severed head clown, that's absolutely terrifying with boxing gloves on. Let me know in the comments. So I took the body from there, got the head from the mystery box, and now I'm putting them both to my left. Oh, this is heavy. What the hell? We have a G here. The letter, oh, this is heavy too. What the hell? We have a letter G and it's really freaking heavy considering like the weight of the overall. Oh my God, <laughs> bro, this is heavy. This is heavy. Scrabble pieces. It's just the letter G though. Made in India. That's pretty cool. Yo G, I'm gonna take this G and put this G to the left G. I right, G. Scrabble pieces inside here. Oh, what the hell? A three. So an N, A, T, Tan Q, what the hell? Oh, I learned one thing in English. The U is always after the Q, except for Ekaluit, a weird place in Canada. So it could be an E, a three, an M, or a W. Oh, and there's one more, what the hell? Okay, now that, that makes it weird. What the hell? The Scrabble pieces, you guys are gonna have to let me know. If you know one thing about me, if you're a long time viewer of this channel, you know that I suck at Scrabble. I'm not gonna waste my time. I'm absolutely trash at it, but I'm gonna take all this stuff and throw it to the right. Oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. You almost caught me off guard there, didn't you? I didn't touch it yet. Look at the instant replay. I didn't touch it yet. I know what this is. Listen, I'm not stupid and I forgot to put on gloves when I started recording the video, but I just noticed now, nothing bad happened yet. Did I touch anything bad? Absolutely not. This over here, I know what this is. I'm not gonna be putting my face in. It's actually really freaking heavy, dude, whoa. Okay, this is going straight in the trash. Don't request this in the comment section. <laughs> Please don't request this in the comment section. A lot of the times, and you have to give me some credit, a lot of the times when I get these things from mystery boxes, they're really hard to identify. They're getting really weird now, but this is easy to identify unless, I don't. Oh yeah, that's, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm not gonna smell the direct thing. I smelled the paper and it's enough to know this, this is legit. Um, <laughs> I'm taking this and I'm throwing this straight in the trash. Oh, uh, dude. All right, now I have gloves on, as I should have had gloves on the entire time. Let's go ahead and get into this picture frame. How the, how the hell? Just, where's the opening? Oh, oh okay, that's easy. Oh, that's, oh, that's easy. Okay, that was, oh, what the hell? Dude, I hate wearing gloves. I know I have to be wearing gloves, but I hate wearing gloves. Okay, so the first thing we have here is a magnifying glass, a tiny magnifying glass. Is my eye getting bigger? Can you guys see this? Yeah, we have a little magnifying glass here. Works pretty good. Can murder a bunch of ants with this. What am I looking at here? A, a find me stick? A fix me stick. This is a fix me stick. Virus removal device. What's up with the staples? Stapled shut. What the hell? We have money here. Oh, 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 what the hell? Ones. Not even like 10 bucks here. That's stupid. Whether it's fake or real, I'll, I'll be looking at that really shortly. Now we can see through the glass. Great Depression, a bunch of lines. Citizen repay now. That's weird. All right. First thing we're going to take a look at is the fix me stick. Dude. That's why I hate wearing gloves. I can't put like put my nails inside. Bro, what the? I don't want to break anything. There we go. A fix me stick. Definitely something I should be plugging into my computer. So I have the computer virus series on my channel and this is definitely something I'm gonna be using. Go check my channel to see if a fix me stick will remove a computer virus. I mean, that's not what I'm, maybe there's stuff on here cause I got it. 
Virus removal device. Advanced boot option. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I just ripped the instructions. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this to the left. Keep this to the left. That's really cool. I can't wait to see what's on it or how it works. As for the American money, I'm not from the US. I'm from Canada. So you guys are gonna have to tell me. I'll put this to the light. Like there's a light. You guys can tell me if that's real or fake. One, two, three, four. Bro, it's so hard counting money with gloves on. 19, 20, 21. So we have 21 US dollars here. But like I said, I paid almost a thousand dollars for this mystery box. And so far I definitely didn't get my money back. I'm gonna take all this money and uh, stick it. Oh my God, I was about to throw that in the trash. I'm gonna keep it because uh, 21 bucks. Now we finally went through the first layer of the mystery box and now we have two more boxes inside here. That's what the inside of the Oh, bro, that smells, okay, I smell three things inside here. It smells old, number one. Number two, it smells like, it smells like weed. And it smells absolutely freaking disgusting, like rotten. Typically, like how every dark web mystery box smells. Okay, so, uh, first thing we're gonna open is... Oh, dude, that smells so weird. That's what's inside, that's the first look of what's inside the box. And now I have options. Do I pull stuff out, like, Mystery box style, or do I just dump everything onto the table? We are gonna do it mystery box style. The first thing we're gonna pull out is, what the hell? What is this? What is this? It's a tie clip. What the hell is that? Ew, bro, that's a bug. What the? A tie clip with a bug inside it. Why would anybody wanna wear this? It's so badass. I'm gonna take it and put it to the left. That's pretty cool. What am I getting myself into, bro? Oh, we have... Okay. I'm taking off the gloves. The next thing we're pulling out of the mystery box... Bro, what, I, what is this? It's another freaking bug. What is this stuff, bro? Why would anybody put this on their suit? That is absolutely nasty. <laughs> bro, what the hell is wrong with people? I know how cufflinks work, bro, but this is something different. What the hell? So we had gloves inside the box, which is the main reason why I took off my main gloves, because I wanted to put these on. Oh. oh, these are big. Whoa, whoa, these are huge, fam. Oh, bro, they're Mason gloves. They're free Mason gloves. That's the free Mason logo. Oh my God, taking these off. So we have the first thing that we pulled out of that box, or second thing we pulled out of this box is a pair of white free Mason gloves. They look like they belong to Mickey Mouse, bro. What the hell? Uh, I don't want to, <laughs> if I throw it to the trash, I'm going to be pissing off a lot of people. If I, I'm going to be putting it to the left, I'm going to be pissing off a lot of people. I'm going to be putting it to the left. More stuff inside here. What is this? Jewelry box. Oh shoot. Okay. Now we're getting, now we're getting to the money, baby. It's free. Okay. Inside. This is the pocket watch. This is the interior. Oh, dude, what the hell? It is a Freemason. I think it's a pocket watch. How do you... Oh, does it work? It works. Oh my God. Currently not that time right now. Let me tell you right now. It's three in the morning, not four in the morning. Oh, dude, that is actually, this is really nice. Not gonna lie, it's really, really, really nice, but it's Freemasonry stuff. What do you guys, what do you guys know about Freemasons? I want you guys to tell me in the comment section, what do you guys know about Freemasons? Uh, what's your knowledge on it? Oh, there's keys inside here too. Looks like handcuffed and shackle keys. Trust me, I know these are handcuffed and shackle keys. But what do you guys think of Freemasonry? Let me know in the comment section. Do you guys think it's, it's a demonic cult? Do you guys think it's just a brotherhood? I've done a lot of research into it. Um, I mean, I have a conspiracy theorist type of head type of guy. No disrespect, no nothing. It's really cool. This is really, really cool. I'm not gonna be throwing it in the trash, but I have heard my fair share of rumors when it comes to Freemasonry. I don't know what to say when I when I think about it or when I'm told these things, you know? But that's gonna be going to my left and we have handcuff and shackle keys. Uh, we'll keep these noted or just put them to my left. So far we're getting our money's worth in this box. What is this? Uh, we have another magnifying glass here. I just, I have to know if my eye gets bigger, bro. I can't see the screen, so I'm just hoping on editing to, <laughs> to see if it works. This one's a little better, but dirtier and older than the last one. What is this? Oh my God, another cuff link. So that's the second cuff link here. I think it's the same thing as the other one, okay. Now we pull out this tax stealth pouch. Oh, oh bro, okay, so we, here's the handcuffs. Here's the keys. Oh, these are heavy duty, bro. 
These are legitimate handcuffs. These are, okay, how can you tell legit handcuffs from fake handcuffs? Fake handcuffs have a release button, have a release switch. This one doesn't have a release switch. <laughs> Do I put it on? Okay, I'm gonna put it on, but I'm gonna make sure I have access to the keys. All right. Oh, these are legit. Oh, these are, oh, these are hefty, dog. Yo, YouTube thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get the YouTube thumbnail, one sec. Where's the keys? Oh no. All right, the keys are here. Oh, that's, oh, that's, oh no. Okay, I'm gonna perform the rest of this small mystery box with the handcuffs on. <laughs> the next item that I'm gonna be pulling out of the mystery box Oh, dude, what is this? It's either the letter L or the letter V. Oh my God, I can't even hold my camera. What is this? Or an arrow, what is that, bro? The next item. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm taking off the gloves. I'm sorry, I'm taking off the handcuffs. Oh no. Okay, okay. I thought I was gonna wear them for all the other items, but I just found... Oh shoot, why did I do this to myself? Why isn't it going in? Oh, there. There we go. Handcuffs are pretty cool, really hefty. Taking them and putting them to my left side, definitely keeping. So, this is the item that I just pulled out from the box. There was Freemason gloves, a Freemason pocket watch, and this is the square and compass for Freemasonry. Oh, what the hell? Oh my God, the G. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, dude, that's so weird. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Freemasonry relics. We have Freemason relics over here that are all metal. Oh, dude, we have... The compass, oh my God, that's actually badass. We're taking them and putting them to my left. Definitely a keep. It looks like I'm getting my money back from the mystery box. Oh my goodness, oh. What, what, what does that say? It says road on it. Oh, Silk Road and a camel. The picture of the Silk Road, okay. All right, I'm getting better at this mystery box thing. This, oh no, this one here says three on it. So the first one said one. Stormy just appeared upstairs. What's up, buddy? Are you okay? Dog, I'm scared right now. <laughs> yeah, so this one here has a three. The first one we pulled out had a one. I'm gonna take it and put it beside it. And we have a camel, a golden camel here. What is that? If anybody knows what that says in the comment section or what letter that is or what the hell that is, just tell me. Golden camel. Oh my God, I'm telling you, this whole mystery box is a Freemason mystery box. Bro, another box with a Freemason symbol on it. Oh, it's a pen. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the pen from all the angles. If anybody's interested in this stuff and you guys want it, let me know in the comment section. If anybody is a Freemason and you want this stuff or you just are interested in Freemasons, just let me know. I'm not saying I don't want it. Oh, dude. How do you use the pen? Oh my God. Does it work? Oh yeah, it works. I mean, I love a pen that works, bro. You barely could find one that works all the time. So uh, I'm gonna take this, close the box and put it to my left. That's like the fifth or fourth Freemason relic I got. A Freemason coin, watch, watch, just watch. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Everything in that box is Freemason related. What is this? We have, what is this, candy? A uh, little watch here. Oh, it's not a watch. Oh my God, a bracelet. Bro, I can't believe what I'm finding in this box right now. Starting with the Silk Road Camel that was inside the case of that cassette over there. And then we dumped everything out of the box. We had a Freemason coin, which looks like this. Oh, what the hell? The other side. What? What does that say? Okay, somebody write that in the comment section, please. And then after that, we had this bracelet over here. Oh, that's cool. And then let's see what this is. What? Oh my God. Just a bunch of miniature, is that a hammer? That's a mallet, compass. I don't know how expensive this stuff is, uh, but you guys can tell me in the comment section like what this stuff is actually. That, I know that looks like a mallet. That's the square, that's the compass. Don't know, don't know. 
Oh, almost fell. Oh my God. Ho, 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 ho. They're metal. What the hell? And then we had this thing where it says BP on it. It has... Oh, they're pills. Okay. It says 100 on one side and the other side has the letter N. 100. The letter N. 100. They all have 100 and the letter N on it. Okay. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six blue pills. Oh, BP blue pill, I think, maybe. Definitely don't care for this. Take this and put this to the side. We have one more box inside the mystery box here. Oh, whoa, whoa, hey, who? Okay, let's open it from this side. Oh, that first thing I see is the word clue. All right, that's what that box looks like. So the first thing we pulled out of that box, it's Byron, it's a, oh, it's FM, AM, it's a radio. Oh, it's, okay. This is the, ah, it's a cassette player. We found the cassette player. Oh, I'm doing this now, so I don't forget. How do you? Blessings of being born in 96. I have like such faint memories of these things. How do you work this thing? Just play. To the to brush our finger rich of thy own ruin, who have dared meddle with this inferior cash, thou art a fool, a fool of fools. Behold this diabolical trope, each relic within it, a testament to thine ungodly fault. Dude, that's so creepy. What the hell? Okay, that was the cassette that had the number one on the bottom. Now we're putting in the number three. Oh, number two. Okay, this is getting good. Ooh, okay, this is getting good. I'm actually getting goosebumps a little bit. All right, so we pulled out number one. Now we're gonna put in number two. Oh, dude, what the hell? Dude, that's so creepy. Okay, so that's one, that's two. We're gonna put in number three. What? <laughs> now I see why we have Spotify. Holy sh**, <laughs> bro. That was creepy. This one here, this says clue. What? Clue. Big clue. Theory. S. What is this, bro? It's a machine. <gasps> what is happening? What is this? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I got it to work. Chat, what is this? Have you ever seen anything? Putting this on Snapchat right now. I'm in the middle of uh, opening the mystery box right now and um, I don't know what the hell this is. I just decided to like pause recording right now and oh, 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 I broke it. Getting back to filming. Bro, I just had to show you guys that. What the hell is that thing? This is so badass. <laughs> what is this? <gasps> it's 
Stormy, look at this. Stormy, look at this thing. Oh! Just shot it at Stormy. All right, I had way too much fun playing with that thing. <laughs> Let's get back to the mystery box. These are all the things that we have left inside the mystery box. What the hell? Oh, oh my God, there's more. You know what? I'm going to dump this all. Come take a seat. Now. All right, so you've finally been captured. Could you, this part's gonna be cut out, but could you look at the camera and tell the camera that there isn't two of you and there is only one? And you are a good person. Look at the camera. Now. Now. All right, we're going to have to move on to D4, 1B6. Yep. Yeah. May God be with you. You have one more chance. Look at the camera and say it. I'll cut myself out. Don't worry. Say it. this oh something is stuck to the bottom oh it's a jo oh my god oh it's probably just one of those adsb okay we have a drone inside here it's not it's not like an expensive one i think what is this what is this oh d dji oh it's a dji drone which which one is this how the f okay oh Oh, it's broken. Oh, it's busted. Oh my God, was that from shipping? How? Oh, you have to open. Okay, um, close, open, open. It doesn't have a battery or anything. And it's busted. Where was it? Where, oh, it's busted here. Oh my God. Can somebody tell me in the comment section which drone this is? It has a camera. Oh my God. It actually has, wow. That's so unfortunate. Oh my God. The next item that I'm pulling out of the mystery box. What is this? Oh my God. It's one of those like fake camera detectors or like not a uh, secret camera detectors. Stormy, what is this thing, bro? Can you tell me what this is? Oh yeah, it is. Oh my God. So if anybody ever wondered how these things work, I couldn't tell you. But right now we have the camera lens looking through it and we have the lights flashing on. I'm looking at a camera right now. How can I tell that's recording me? How can I tell that camera is recording me? I don't understand how this detects fake cameras. Vibration. It's vibrating. Low sensitivity. What is, what's happening? What's happening? So for some reason, this thing is absolutely going sickle mode right now. I have no idea why. What is this? I don't understand why it's vibrating. Can somebody please in the comment section, for the love of God, explain this to me because I, un I have no idea. What's this? Oh, we have another camera here, bro. What's up with all the cameras? Maybe I lost a lot of money. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I spent almost a thousand dollars. Definitely lost money. I don't think the Mason relics, Masonic relics are that expensive. What's this? Is it oh, it works. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a camera. It literally is a camera. Oh, that's not bad quality. I'm gonna record, how do we record? Oh my God, that's, okay, that's a voice. What's this? T that's picture taking. Okay, so that takes a picture. Uh, let's see, taking another picture. That's pretty cool. How do we record? What's, oh, okay, I'm filming a video now. Is it get audio? What is, I don't understand what it is though. Oh, it's a, 
I think it's a body cam. Oh, oh my God, we have a body cam, right? How do I? What is this? <gasps> oh, I should have opened the mystery box with this. <gasps> what, what the? It has cop lights on it. How do I turn that off? So this fell on the floor. It's a purple thing with the number three on it and it's marrow. And this is gonna be for a Patreon on YouTube. You guys can't, oh, that danks, <laughs> that danks. So this is what it looks like for people on Patreon that wanna take a look at it. Enjoy the fruits of your viewing. A lot, oh, wow, that really, really smells, bro. Not, oh, it's kind of sticky. Yeah, it is kind of sticky, what the hell? Yeah, you guys can enjoy the fruits of your viewing. This is gonna be absolutely blurred on YouTube. So if you wanna see this on Patreon, the link's gonna be in the description below. Go ahead and follow me on Patreon, check out the uncensored footage, or if you just wanna generally support crypto and WO. Binder or a tablet? If it's a tablet, I got my money back. If it's a tablet, I got my money back. If it's an iPad, I got my money back. Oh my God, it's an iPad, it's a tablet. Oh, what the hell, what is this? What kind of iPad is this? Oh, this is the problem with Apple products, bro. How the hell do you identify Apple products? Which iPad? They have like hundreds, hundreds of iPads. Maybe not hundreds, but lots of them. Designed by Apple in California. I have the serial number here, okay. I'm gonna check the serial number to see if it's, does it work? Oh, dude. Which iPad is this, man? Listen, I'm an Apple fan, but I'm not that much of an Apple fan to tell you. Oh, it's not gonna work. If it works, bro. Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, oh, don't connect to my Wi-Fi. Don't connect to my Wi-Fi. No service. Wait. How does an iPad have no service? There's no SIM card in an iPad. I don't get it, where's that smell coming from? Oh my God. There's something, there's something taped to the wall of this box over here. Oh, don't, oh, 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 what is that? Okay, I'm gonna take the tape off. Oh my God, I don't wanna, oh my gloves. I was wondering where the heck this item is because ever since the beginning of the box, I've been smelling a really nasty item. Pulled out iPad. It was on the, oh, this was. <coughs> oh, why did I unwrap it? Oh, I'm, uh. Okay, this is for Patreon. Oh dear God, it smells so freaking bad, guys. Oh, 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 bro, why is this shaped like that, man? Anytime something is shaped like that, this is for Patreon, I'm not putting this on YouTube, I'm blurring this out on YouTube, but anytime something is shaped like that, it reminds me of a finger or it reminds me of a d It smells so bad. Oh, dude, why is it like that? Why is it like that? Oh my God! Unable to activate. Your iPad cannot be activated without an internet connection. You can try again. Oh, this is a scam. Oh, I'm not plugging this in. Hell no. Nothing else inside there. Oh my God, dog, that was nasty. Yo, Patreon, you guys were sick. Enjoy the fruits of your viewing. Oh my God. Ugh. Yo, Patreon, you are sick. Enjoy the fruits of your viewing. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Oh, throwing this in the trash, throwing it in the trash. Dear God. <laughs>